So a couple weeks ago, I had an image stolen on Instagram, and I get that this is something that happens basically every day to everybody on Instagram, but I kind of wanted to talk about it today because I want to talk about a couple things. I want to talk about your rights. What do you do if one of your images gets stolen? I want to talk about kind of the unwritten rules of Instagram, and I kind of want to talk about how to actually file a copyright infringement case on Instagram. And I have backstory. I want to talk about, um, you know, what happened and why I decided to file a copyright infringement with Instagram. And I want to share that story. But if you only care about the physical, like, how do I file a copyright infringement case with Instagram, you can jump ahead to the part in that video that I talk about that by going down to the description and finding the time code. Because you might not care about the story, you might just want to do that, so you don't have to listen to me blabber if you don't want to. But but I want to blab. I want to talk about what happened and I kind of want to talk about what you can do if the same thing happens. So here's the backstory. Every single day somebody steals at least an image from my Instagram and shares it on their own account. Sometimes they credit me, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they ask permission, sometimes they don't. Honestly, I, I don't care. And usually if a share account reaches out to me and says, hey, Brendan, we want to share your photo of Naxos Greece. Can we please do that with photo credit? I'll usually say, sure, just make sure the photo credit's in the first line of the caption and not hidden and everybody wins. But the first thing I think I should mention in this video is that just because you're posting on social media doesn't give people the right to use your images without your permission. Just because you post something on Instagram doesn't mean that any share account in the world can then go use that image, take it down off of Instagram or screenshot it and then post it there to their own account. By doing that without your permission, they're infringing on your copyrights. There's no terms and condition in Instagram that says by uploading to this platform, you allow everybody else on the platform to use your image on their own account. They need your permission. And if they take your image and put it up on their account, even if it's a share account, even with a photo credit, legally in most countries, I believe, they're infringing on your copyright and you have the right to ask them to take it down. So yeah, there's like this unwritten rule on Instagram that anybody can share your photo as long as there's a photo credit. And if you're okay with that, then cool, don't sweat it. But if you're not cool with that, you don't want other people to use your image to either profit or to grow their account or just to share the beauty of it. You don't have to let them. You can always file a copyright infringement case and have that image taken down from their account. So I'm telling you that for me, I don't care if somebody steals my image. If they want to take it, on a share account, even if they don't ask permission, as long as there's an obvious credit, I, I honestly don't care. I don't worry about that. But there is a line and that line is at commercial and this is what got crossed the other day and this is what brought on me filing a copyright infringement case with Instagram. And I kind of want to talk about this story, but I guess obviously I should talk about what commercial means on Instagram. Where is that line? And for me, that line is obviously commercial. It's directly commercial. It's not just, you know, vaguely commercial. It has to be direct. That's the line for me. So an example, if I took a photo of like a Starbucks coffee or somebody taking a drink of a Starbucks coffee and then Starbucks then shared that on their own account with a tagline that said something like amazing photo of Brendan Vanson enjoying a cool frap on a hot summer's day. That's not directly commercial, even if it is a brand and it is a brand's product. I don't really care about that. Yes, they should ask for permission, but if they posted that, I wouldn't really care. But now if Starbucks takes that exact same photo and has the caption, something along the lines of, for a limited time only, enjoy a maple syrup frappuccino at Starbucks for the low price of $17.99, because I think that's what Starbucks costs. Head to your local Starbucks uh, to, to profit from this great deal. Hashtag coupon in our bio link. Something like that that's directly selling something, I'm not cool with that. I'm not gonna let that slide. They're using my image to directly profit. And I'll be honest with you, that doesn't usually happen. The big brands like that don't really make mistakes because it's costly. Not only is it bad PR, but it's 
fiscally expensive. A brand once stole one of my friend's images for social media usage and they had to pay up a, a settlement of over $10,000. It was crazy. And I would love somebody to steal my images and have to pay up that sort of settlement because that's worth more than you can sell an image for social media usage for. So the big brands are smarter. They don't usually do this unless they make a huge mistake. Who usually makes this mistake are smaller brands that don't know the rules or think they're gonna get away with it just because they're a smaller brand. So let me rewind a couple weeks. I went onto my Instagram and I noticed that I was tagged by an Instagram account. I went and checked that Instagram account and it was an account called at unlimited Greece that has nearly 200,000 followers. And I clicked on the image of mine and I checked it out and it was a commercial usage. This is the caption they used. It says, Stunning Naxo, stop wasting money on hotel bookings in Greece. Visit unlimitedgreece.com. Best price guaranteed and up to 80% discount. Direct link in bio. Congratulations to Brendan for the picture. Congratulations! I don't want congratulations. I want you to pay me. And so obviously I was mad, but instead of like sending them a message and saying, hey guys, you can't do that. I went directly to filing a copyright claim on Instagram. And this is how you do that. This is how you file a copyright dispute on Instagram. And honestly, it's a little bit complicated and at first a little bit annoying, but I think it's annoying for a reason. I think that if it was too easy, people would be uh, filing disputes on their enemies <laughs> and they would just be making all these false claims and it would be hard to deal with. So I guess let me walk you through the process on how to file a uh, claim on Instagram. First thing you do is you take that image and then you click on the triple dot and you go to report and then you go, it's inappropriate. And then down this list, you have all these options. One of them is intellectual property violation. You click on that and it comes up the screen, report as intellectual property violation. You hit learn more and then it comes up with all this information. And honestly, it makes it look complicated. It makes it look like it's gonna be hard to do but I think they're just letting you know their, um, your rights or the rights of the photographer or whatever. You can click on learn about, learn more about reporting copyright violations. You click on that again, you get all this information, a lot of facts, but you just go up to fill, you can fill out this form. You click on this form and then you click on copyright, continue with copyright claim. I found content which I believe infringes my copyright. Continue my copyright report. Down here, you provide your contact information. So you say who owns the copyright. It's me. You put your name, your job responsibility, your mailing address, your phone number, your email, your email again, the name, your name, where the owner is based. Then you have to provide the content. So you press photo or caption or whatever, and then you have to link them to somewhere that you've already posted that image, whether it's Instagram or your website or a news agency, wherever it's already been listed. Why are you reporting the content? You provide the con copyrighted work. Again, you're doing the same thing as before. You're just proving that it's your work. And then you do a declaration confirming your statement and do you agree? And then finally send. Now it seems like a lot of work to go through, but it's worth it because immediately after I hit send, the image was taken down off of that Instagram account. Immediately, there was no like delay, there was nothing. As soon as I hit send, it was gone. And to my amazement, within about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, I got an email from a human being at Instagram saying, thank you for submitting this copyright infringement case. We have reviewed it and we agree Essentially, the content has been taken down and it has been dealt with. Now, I honestly don't know what that means, how they dealt with it, if they got like a strike, if Unlimited Grease got a, a strike, if they were warned, or really what happened. I have no idea. What I do believe is that they at least got warned because I went onto their account today, which is now two weeks after this happened, and now all of the captions have the exact same caption, it's still commercial, but now instead of saying like, congratulations to the photographer, it says photo courtesy of, and then whoever the photographer was, which gives me at least the impression that they're now asking permission to do that. So in the end, I think Instagram did pretty well, to be honest, although I really do wish they would take greater action against accounts like this. If an account has like hundreds and hundreds of violations, that account should be down. 
They shouldn't get warnings. It should be down right away in my opinion. But they did at least take down the image that I, I reported and they did it really quickly. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, in general, my kind of thought process on copyright infringement on Instagram is simple. If you steal my image and you don't use a photo caption, I'm gonna write you a message quickly saying, please either take down my image or include a photo caption or I'll be forced to send a copyright violation um, form to Instagram. And then I honestly, I'm not, I don't even follow up on that. I just assume that they'll either do that or I don't really care. If it's not commercial, I honestly don't care. I don't wanna waste my time on this stuff. I wanna spend my time taking pictures. And I have kind of this big rule in my business in that I don't waste time. So I don't waste time chasing down people that have infringed on my copyrights. Time is so valuable and I don't wanna spend it that way. I think a lot of photographers spend so much time chasing down people that have stolen their images or used their images improperly that they could really spend that time much more usefully, or at least out in the field taking pictures. It's just not worth the stress for me anyway, at least with the small stuff. So my rule in business, don't sweat the small stuff, and time is so, so valuable, so don't waste it. And I don't waste time discussing with brands that have stolen images. I don't negotiate with copyright infringers. I just submit it and move on. I don't wanna spend my days arguing, I wanna spend my days taking pictures. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do on the next episode. I've got a bunch of new toys. And I'm going to get out in the field and take some pictures with said new toys on the next episode from here in Canada. And I, I guess I'll see you there. Peace.